From WOWT Channel 6, this is Heartland Focus. Welcome to Heartland Focus. I'm Tim Clark of Clark Connection Group and So Good Events. Today's program will focus on providing you with some tools and resources to help make 2010 your best year yet. And joining me today in Heartland Focus will be uh, author, uh, coach, trainer, a facilitator, Wes Hall, motivational speaker, president and CEO of Totally Motivated. We have some energy up in here today with these two <laughs> highly motivated uh, speakers and coaches. And Wes, weigh in on it, man. First of all, uh, Kathy's right on it. Uh, emotional content is so very powerful. I'm writing a new book and it's called Beyond Visualization, okay. uh, The Audacity Factor. Okay. And uh, so many people are putting things on their mirrors and they're looking at them. But after a while, it becomes part of the mirror. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, they've got the big car on the mirror, they got the car uh -huh. on, the, on the refrigerator, and then they walk by after a while, it becomes invisible because it becomes part of just the refrigerator. Right. You have to move beyond visualization. So when she talks about feel it, we need some emotional content in here. So there's three things that I'm talking about this year. One is identify and break habits. How many times you start off a new year all fired up, ready to go, get to the end of the year, you haven't done anything. Okay. Okay. So because Dennis Waitley may have been uh, very on it when he said, I have a little robot that lives inside of me. I tell it what I'm thinking. I tell it what I see. Used to be I controlled the robot. Now mm -hmm. the robot controls me. Many people are living out of antiquated programming right now. So the first thing I say is identify and break habits. Secondly, show up. Okay. It's a different energy when you show up. Each one of us have our own vibration that impacts a room when we show up. It's different from making a phone call. It's different from writing a letter. When you show up somewhere, people can now cut a deal with you, can strike a deal. They can feel your energy. You're different, Tim and, and Kathy, than anyone else in the world. Why right. not take advantage of that energy and show right. up? Right. And finally, I have something I'm working with called the audacity factor. That means that 95% of you is controlled by 5% of you. Mm -hmm. So the only way you can get past that 5% is to do something totally unexpected. You have to do something so audacious that your system can't even prepare for it. Oh, oh. And when you do something audacious, matter of fact, have you noticed the people that end up uh, on the news and national, making national coverage is the person that took $900 and went to Iraq or the person that flew around the world or did something so audacious right. that people took it because the average person person stays locked in a mode and they are a recurring pattern. They're in a holding pattern and we've got to start doing different things to get past our robot. So in other words, so three things, identifying breaking habits, mm -hmm. show up and do something audacious this year. When we come back from the break, we will continue our conversation on how Today can be the start of your best year yet. So, uh, you have uh, a, a book as well, right. uh, You Are the Money. Absolutely. Uh, and tell us a little bit about that and then, then can tell us how we can access okay. uh, more information in terms of website. Um, th this came about uh, when I first wrote the book, You Are the Money. It was interesting because it was at a time I was... How can you write a book about money mm -hmm. when you don't have any? And uh, it came from years of doing radio, finally discovering that chasing and chasing after wealth externally will never attract it. Yeah. Anytime you see dollars and money and any material thing as something external, you'll chase it for the rest of your life. So I began to ask myself a question, how then am I going to become wealthy? And the answer came to me, you. That's right. You are the money. You are the yeah. instrument. And so I try to give people an understanding by taking, having them look at a stripped down car. Okay. okay. It might be ten thousand dollars. No wheels. No air conditioning. No heat. Everything you add onto the car does what? Increases its value. Mm. So the dealership might say, you, "You need some tires for that car. <laughs> you might need a little right. air conditioning. You might need a CD player." And the more things you put onto the same car that was ten thousand dollars now increase it to possibly worth fifty thousand mm. dollars. We can do that with ourselves. People do that with degrees, whether it's a bachelor's degree, PhD, or whatever. The add-on okay. process. So I'm encouraging individuals to add on to yourself this year and really take a look at how do you increase okay. your self-value. And so um, if for folks, that, and another thing I'm talking about too, some people, Kathy, Tim, simply need a vision infusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have a vision. Mm -hmm. They can't okay. find their purpose. Right. They, life is talking to us all the time. Okay. It's telling okay. you what your thing exactly. is. Like for instance, my voice is my gift. I've done radio for 20 years using it. Every one of us have something unique about us. That's right. But it's about, right. about finding it. So um, if they want to find out information about the book, the name of the book is You Are the Money. And you can go to my website, www.totallymotivated.com.
Google, and I happen to be the number one West Hall in the world, and the, uh, website, <laughs> and the website comes up, and they can find it. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> what money can buy. Uh? <laughs> but, hey, you the know, in terms in of in, in wrapping up, uh, we have about two minutes, and I, I want to give both of you guys an opportunity as we uh, try to provide, you know, some tools and resources uh, for that will help our viewers as we as they uh, look at their best year yet. If you could sum it up, Wes, mm -hmm. 30 seconds, mm -hmm. you know, 30 seconds, <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, okay, yes. uh, yeah. what, what would you, what, what would you, one or two things? Simply, um, your, your habits are controlling you. Uh, today, uh, this is, just listen to this, to, to, you'll go and take a shower and you'll notice the soap goes the same way every time. Even if you drop it, it starts all over. Your robot is controlling you unbeknownst to yourself. I challenge you to take a look at that antiquated programming that you're functioning on. Take a look at those habits. Are they strengthening you? Are they leading to your demise? Break those habits and do something different this year. Also, I want you to show up this year. Even if you think you're shy, I don't want to, I want you to press yourself. Show up. Every time you show up, then as Tim says, you can show out. You get an opportunity now to increase in your opportunities. Learn who you are. Learn your deficits as well as your strengths. And in that, you'll truly find that you are the money. And this world affords you, Tim, anything that you go after. Lastly, this universe is designed to yield to human resolve. Okay. If you All say right. you can, you say you will, you will. Okay, and okay. That's, and that's the secret. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he kind of took some of your time. and said, you're going to do it. That was 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay. okay. Thank you, Kathy and Wes, for uh, spending the time and Thank you. helping us to get motivated for 2010. Thank Have you. Thank you very much. Have your best year ever, yes. Tim. Thank you. Thank you.